Hey guys, welcome to a new video today. We are working on a P660 60 core hover mixer. This red one. As always, this is what we do. Hover mixers. This is our main bone here in our shop. Hover mixers everywhere. Hover mixers, the best. At least on the transmission driven kind of don't like the legacies personally it's nothing person personal against the legacies but I have my personal opinions about this particular model which is the HL models HL 200 here this is an HL 1400 140 cores 20 but it's a customer for everything but I will 100% prefer a transmission driven on the classic models which is these models right here anyways back to our video pixie 60 hover mixer we are working on this unit this mixer uh, had a planetary stack in place or freeze in place what that means is that when you are working on it or want to get access to the planetary there is no way to drop it down because it's stuck it's literally stuck the planetary and this chaff is joined together and there is it is kind of impossible mission to do it on site because if you put a bearing extractor uh, there is in no way there is no way that you're gonna extract with this serious corrosion in it that you were going to be able to strike the planetary some technicians have argued or comment on my videos oh you should use you should use a bearing extractor and that's how I do it it's very easy why go through the hassle of hoisting the mixer, etc., etc. And I mean, I respect their opinion. Howard designed these planetaries with two, two bolts. There's one right here, and another one right here. And you are supposedly designed and allow you with the special tools to attach a bearing structure here and sit it against the main shaft. And uh, if the te technician is not careful, he might damage the thread on the main shaft. This, this is a special screw, fine thread. But anyways, they argue that you can do it. And I'm not saying that you cannot do it, but on something that is not in particular that stuck. Um, but this is the planetary actually. Tell me how in the world you're gonna get this planetary with a bearing extractor with that much corrosion in it. Basically, the chaff and the planetary become one piece. Look at that. There is no way that double D40 or any lubricant is gonna be able to access and then put a torch and then use the burning extractor. There's no way, but I respect their opinions. So for those technicians, I will be attaching a short video with uh, a proof on how we were doing this. And basically what we do is we just use this big hammer and this this uh, MA2 agitator chaff that you can see it has seen some action you can see this so tell me if this is something this hit that this chaff hard have is proof that we have encountered some serious planetaries stuck in place 
we use the tiny piece to sit it against the chaff. Right here, sorry. Uh, it's hard to do it because it's heavy. And then my dad helps me out, hammering it out. But anyways, wanted to show you guys the process. P660 over mixer. Guys, trust me, if I, this mixer uh, was located in the city, Santa Rosa, which is two hours away from where my shop is. You think that I will be, if I could do it on site, I would not do it there. Of course I would do it on site, but I will waste my time and hoisting it, even though I drove two hours to get there, two hours to get back, four hours, but it's gonna be a complete waste of my time trying to extract it over there with anything that I have. And this only took, took me like, me and my dad getting it ready, like 15 minutes to start, from start to, to finish. Now it has humidity, but because the humidity was getting stuck on it, but you can see this. I mean, how in the world you're gonna be able to strike this with a bedding extractor? Uh, in no way, to, but I'm waiting for those technicians to send me their videos or upload it to YouTube extracting one of these chaff and that I will say oh my god I was wrong all this time but anyways in the meantime this is how I do it like I said the timeline of the video might not make sense because I will attach um, a video when we were extracting the planetary we continue now obviously to do that, the entire transmission has to come out. You have to loosen the chimney, get all the screws out in order to be able to hammer it out with confidence. The transmission cover that goes here needs to be put back on with four screws. I mean, that's how I do it. And the main bearing that's that attaches to the shaft. So the, the cover goes back on to the... ¿Le voy a tocar algo? No, ahí está grabando ya. Apunta ahí. Le vamos a estar. Pero estoy alumbrando siempre. ¿Mande? Te alumbro siempre. Sí, no, sí está bien. Está bien. For those who says that these things will come out with an extractor, you already seen that it's not possible. Get it out with an extractor. There's no way. Okay, guys. The actual reason why this mixer needed service was not because of the planetary, 
it was because of a bad bearing on the transmission case, which is the one that attaches with the benefit shaft. And obviously to get access to the transmission and disassemble, the planetary has to come out. So, but this is why we needed access to the planetary. And yeah, this bearing has some play on it. I think the customer will be able to get back his mixer because I was worried that the socket was worn out, but I'm crossing my fingers that that's not the case. Once I clean everything out and put a new bearing, we'll be able to see if we can still use this transmission case. If for any reason it still has some plate, basically this mixer is done. There is not, this is not a transmission case replacement. Although again, technician will say, oh, you can take it to a machine shop and they will fix it. But that's another argument for another day. But anyways, I hope that that socket is good and we are, we could get this mixer back back to the customer. Um, but yeah, this is why we needed access through the planetary to remove this bearing. I think we'll be fine. I just need to clean everything up and hopefully this mixer goes back to our customer. Yeah, the socket for the bearing feels, I don't feel any worn out. So hopefully we are good and get this mixer back to this owner. All right guys, hope you like this video. This is just to prove or show you how we do this and it's not easy but we get it done anyways this is our way to do it if you're to those technicians if your technique works great in any way or shape or form i'm suggesting to do it the way i do it i'm just show you how we do it and if you have a better te technique great for you but this is what works for me because this all at the table shop and that and obviously hoist it uh, our hoist and get it into the floor and that's how we do it all right guys have a great day give us a like subscribe and we'll see you next time have a wonderful day. Thank you.